We got a double dose of Rene Paquette this week. Triple if you listen to the Sam Roberts podcast. But a double dose of Oral Sessions this week, which is always a good thing. You get double dose of Oral Sessions in your life. That's never a bad thing, right? But uh, anyways, besides my bad, dirty jokes, Rene had Gabby Tuft on her podcast this week. Who the fuck is Gabby Tuft? Gabby Tuft is Gabe Tuft, former Tyler Rex of WWE. Former man transitioned into a woman, Gabe, into Gabby. Check it out. Um, so when did you first start realizing uh, that you wanted to identify as something other than the gender that you were assigned at birth? Ooh, that's a good question. Probably, probably about three years ago is when we first kind of started experimenting with like me wearing female clothing. But I don't think I really had the desire until it was, gosh, last year during COVID when we had the lockdowns. And I was starting to get dressed up every night. And then it was just the pain of taking off the hair, taking off the makeup and realizing I really feel like presenting male was the show. And I wasn't living my reality. And it just slowly became harder and harder and harder. And I don't remember the exact day, but it was just basically me going, this isn't right. I want to stay female. Everything feels right. And I feel good. And I can express myself emotionally. So I would, I would say maybe midsummer. I kind of had that realization. You know, I recently heard about this, and uh, I was surprised by it, obviously, because he definitely didn't strike me as the type of dude that was secretly a woman on the inside. But hey, man, to each his own. Uh, I know some people are still uncomfortable with this. Some people grew up where that's just not cool for them, and you know, I that's fine. You know, I get where you're coming from and all that, but. Science, you know, like gender's a spectrum, you know, allow me to school you a little bit here. There's man and there's woman, but it's not one or the other. There's a spectrum. You can be a, a very manly man and you can be a very femmy woman or you can be a tomboy woman who's kind of a little closer to a guy. You can be kind of a, a, a femmy guy. What are they? The metrosexuals, you know, they, they dress and look gay, but they're not. And then there's everything in between. It's it's a spectrum. And, uh, you know, when, when you're born, when you're a baby in the womb and you're developing and you're getting all of the, the hormones and shit, sometimes the levels just don't come out right. Sometimes you get a little bit too much of this and not enough of that or a little bit of this and not enough of that or, you know, some of this seeps in when it wasn't supposed to and suddenly you're... Your male formed body is more female on the inside. This isn't a gay thing. It's not a freak thing. It's not a uh, mental issue. It's not an identity issue. It's when Tyler Rex, when Gabe was created, he was created as a woman on the inside. He certainly looks like a dude. She looks like a dude, but on the inside, he was created a woman. And that happens. That happens. It absolutely fucking happens. And we're just now seeing it more because we're in a culture that's starting to accept that shit. You don't think that there were dudes that secretly felt like women back in like the 40s and 50s and shit? In the 60s, the 70s, of course there was. Of course there was. This is something that's been happening since the beginning of time. Because it's a developmental issue. I don't even know if issue is the right word. Because, I, I mean, I guess it is an issue, right? If you got to spend $100,000 on surgery to get yourself turned into a woman when you're a man, that's an issue. You probably would have preferred to just be born a woman like you're supposed to. But, wires get crossed, man. Uh, it's, it's the truth. Wires get crossed when you're cooking in the oven and things happen and people fall somewhere on the spectrum when they come out. Not everybody's gay, not everybody's straight, not everybody's a man, not everybody's a woman. It's a spectrum. You're somewhere in the middle, right? You're a dude that loves chicks, but you might take a cock in the mouth. 
You're a chick that loves dudes, but you might fuck a chick when you have a couple drinks or something. You might be a, a woman who wants to go out and play with all the boys because when you grew up, you didn't identify with the girly girls. You, you identified with the boys. And I, maybe you don't think you're a boy, but you got a lot of boy in you, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. And it's a unique situation, and I appreciate that Gabby, and I'm not even trying to be woke here, like, I think, like, is it sort of uncomfortable and, and awkward and stuff? Yeah, of course. This is a man, clearly, by the looks of it, trying to turn into a woman and act like a woman. But on the inside, she is a fucking woman. She's a woman. And if you ask her to try to look like a man and be a man, you're asking her to live outside of her happiness. You're asking him to be something that she's not really meant to be or not really on the inside. And, you know, you can look at that however you want, but at the end of the day, it's not about you or what you think or how you want to look at it. It's about how Gabby feels and, and you know, anybody else that does that, the, the chicken AEW, that's a dude, you know, uh, did transition there. Um, Nyla Rose, uh, it's just not for you. It's not your problem. It's not for you to worry about or to even have an opinion on, right? At the end of the day, it's what makes Gabby happy. When Gabby has to wake up, look in the mirror, if he is a she in her own mind, then she either has to go through life hiding that from everybody, including the people she loves. Or she has to take that chance to just step out there and be something different. Be herself. Be free. Where she can feel free. And uh, I respect the fuck out of Gabby being able to make that jump and to do that. And, uh, you know, more power to her. It's off-putting, but it's something that we're all starting to kind of come around on and starting to learn more about and become more comfortable with. Um, it's just a good thing overall and, and we're getting there. We're making progress and props to Gabby for, uh, doing her thing. You go girl, you go girl. You can catch Renee's podcast usually every Tuesday, but I guess Wednesdays and Thursdays and whenever the fuck else she wants to drop one now, I guess who knows, right? Hey, thanks for checking out that clip. Don't forget to check out other clips here on the channel. And while you're there, throw a like, throw a subscribe. And don't forget to check out full episodes each and every Sunday of the Pro Wrestling Podcast Podcast.